Hello again. This is part two of the Eva carriages and the easy mode as well. This will be a video series of me trying to or giving getting an opportunity to talk about something I've made. And this is the update that's mostly about the Titan Aero carriage. Um, there's nothing super. Um, special about it except that it needed a different thicker over here piece the bottom piece compared to the normal one as you can see it's thicker like that because the nozzle is a little bit more into the front on a aero it has this support piece uh, over here so you assemble everything uh, you assemble the uh, hot end the extruder over here and then you put the uh, support piece and that's that allows for amazing sturdiness over here this is almost the exact same thing as i did on the uh, v-core v1 and v2 version of my aero carriage uh, a few months back um, so yeah that worked so i applied it over here as well conduct is the same uh, the back piece is exactly the same the top piece is the uh, the default one i would say the one called top uh, cable top top cable and yeah that's it when it comes to the aero except for the uh, one of the new probe holders uh, since i didn't want to add plastic to here and make it unnecessarily difficult I uh, made the uh, BL touch sensor a bit thicker over here so it so you can put it like here like that and and if it was screwed in correctly then I will get away with screwing, screwing it over here I may need a, a thicker version of that over here as you can see there's a gap so yeah I'll fix that. It scrapped itself. Um, for the the default one is thin like that. As we are with the uh, as I got the uh, probe mounts. This is the Hamera uh, front piece. You would put it over here. Screw it from the back. And here's here's your PL touch mount. For this uh, on a v6 assembly you use this exact exact same thing and put it over here have it like that and the same goes for the for a 12 millimeter induction probe like this chinese one over here you screw it in over here and you mount it so we can I wanted this to be a standard um, M3 holes, eight millimeters apart, millimeters apart. I want this to be a standard for the probe holders for the Eva carriage. And there's another one, uh, a straight one, uh, for the eight millimeter uh, induction probe. Over here, it fits the aero quite nicely. So you just pit, pick whatever works for you. Those are small, you can experiment like that on the aero i'm going to mount it in a few minutes because i'm going to test this carriage and one thing i wanted to show you is the end stops i'm i don't know obsessed about maybe because compare this this guy to the guy i had in my hands last time and it's and it's over here mm, yeah look at the size so I got those from AliExpress quite cheap cheap and you mount it by some two and a half uh, screws through the plastic like tap into the plastic and it's sturdy enough to to be here maybe there's going to be an issue with uh, some carriages being too thick but yeah I need to test that I need you guys to help me with it uh, and report those kind of things 
preferably on GitHub. And I know some of you are um, a little bit lost when it comes to GitHub, but if you just want to download the uh, download the files, there's a big green button uh, with a label download or clone, download and clone. Uh, you can click that and then download the zip and you'll download the whole thing. Um, if you want to help me more, then uh, check out the issues, report issues, um, enhancement proposals, uh, like feature requests, whatever. Just uh, you can report those things over there. It's like a to do list for me. And there is also the wiki, which has the bill of materials, materials for each individual carriage of what you need to print and what screws you need uh, to assemble the specific carriage you need. Uh, what else? Uh, this has six minutes and I don't want it to be as long as the previous one. So, so I will use the remaining time, let's say, to show you the easy mod. And the easy mod is, sorry for the chair noise, um, is those two joiners that I showed you previously. I disassembled because I needed Titan to show you the iron assembly. Uh, that's why this, the, that's why it looks like this. And you can see from the dust how much tested the Titan one is. I'm really happy with it. Uh, this piece, look at that. It run a lot of filament through it. Yeah, I'm kind of proud. That's why I'm bragging about it. Um, so the XY jointers. On the left one, you have the uh, the screw holes over here for the adjustable uh, X end stop. Maybe we'll need to make it longer. You tell me. Maybe that will uh, allow us to have the thick hemeras or a little less thick uh, uh, aeros over here and still hit the the end stop over here so yeah that's the x so as you can see the 20 by 20 is here it's really press fitted between the uh, the jointers and below over here it's it is oh, sorry about that it is being held by the uh, by the pro uh, xy plate Will it focus? Not sure. So you should have this part. And this is the tricky part, and I will try to use my flashlight. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit better. Um you cannot use the default Z rails, right? Because those went up here, and because of that, maybe this will be a better angle, and you won't be able to move the carriage across the middle point over here so it has to be shorter those are 400 millimeters i think uh, so you need uh, a shorter uh, 20 by 20 support for it as well over here and then a support for that which is this extrusion over here um, so that's quite an addition but someone pointed out to me that uh, if you have a free point uh, free rail bed like with one uh, extrusion over here it's just loosely pressed over here so if you would have a rail over here to hold the bed by one point and then have those rails those front rails maybe on this extrusion then you should get away with the with the default uh, with the default um, 20 by 20 um, bill of materials, let's say, which probably is the is the proper solution anyways, to have the bed uh, floating on three points, um, which is the incoming project once we stabilize uh, the EVA carriages to have a three point belted system for the for the V-core. But but yeah, so expect that. I hope it see the light of day. 
uh, I have it on three screws over here. But this is a synchronized uh, system over here. And it probably, well, the lead screws I, I learned are problematic on their own. And additionally, having a belt over here and a belt over there for this one motor driving all three of them in uh, timed uh, together. Mm, probably the belt produces enough um, wiggle, let's say, for them to be a little bit wonky. So I'm not extremely happy with my with my Z wobble. That's why I want to check out the the uh, the belts. So yeah, I think I, or I hope I covered everything. Um, let me know if not. And I will see you on the next update. Thank you.